So hi, I'm Corey. I'm going to be your nurse. Are you Gracie? Yes. Yeah? Is that your mom? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like the color pink? Yes. Yeah? And purple. And purple. You like two colors? All right. So I'm just going to take a listen to your heart and take your temperature, take your blood pressure in your arm. But first, I'm going to raise the bed up high, okay? So we're going to go high, high to the sky. It's a bit low for me. Is that high? Yeah? Stop. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Are you ticklish under your arms? Mm, maybe? We'll see. Okay. They're perfect, just like that. We're almost done. Do you like orange juice? Yeah. Yeah? But it's not orange juice. That's not orange. No, it's not orange juice. Can I see a finger? What finger? That one? Okay. There you go. Keep it really still. See how the screen? How it lights up? It lights up red right now. It does. Perfect. I'll take it off for you. I think I can. You can? Okay. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Do you want to give me an arm? Which arm? That one? Roll up your sleeve for me. Oh, great. Show your big muscles. Okay. So this is going to take your blood pressure. You're going to feel a nice, a little squeeze on your arm, okay? Just, just a little squeeze. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. A little squeeze. Okay, great. You take it off. Perfect. Can you give me a high five with one hand? Yo, you're strong. How with the other hand? Yeah. How up top? Oh, good. Good job. Can you see my finger? Can you, can you follow my finger? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's take a listen to your heart, okay? Do you want to listen to your heart after? Okay. Now listen to your lungs. And out your stomach. Are you hungry? Yeah? I can hear your stomach gurgle, making noises. Do I listen to your heart? Yeah? Okay. So this goes in that ear. This goes there. Can you hear it? No. Now I can hear it. Now you can hear it. Perfect. Great. You, you can still drink. I can work around you. You feel nice and warm. Are you warm? Yeah. Yeah? Cold. But I feel cold? I always feel cold. It's our secret. Are your toes ticklish? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. I'll be really quick, okay? And the sock. I am. All right, I'm going to put your sock back on, but I'm going to put on properly, okay? How's that? That one's good? Okay. I'm going to do the next one. How's that? Is that one good too? Okay. Can you move your toes for me? Okay. Cover you back up. Nice and toasty. 
Okay, perfect. Can I get a high five? How about the other one? How about a backhand? Yeah, good job. Nice and strong. So basically, I just did a quick um, head to toe and vitals on a four year old. So basically, of um, when I came in to the room, the bed was in low position, so I used proper body mechanics, so I made the bed go higher. And then, of course, always use hand sanitizer before you touch your patients. So I basically did a full set of vitals. And then you always want to take your heart rate apically for a full minute. So basically, when I, was, when I came in, I asked about her color. She told me she likes purple and pink. That's basically doing a neuro assessment, so making sure, checking level of consciousness, doing a glossocoma scale. I um, made her follow my gaze and my fingers to see if everything's intact. Also, using high fives, that shows your limb movement. Going into there, you're going to want to go onto your cardiovascular system. So again, like I said, check the heart rate for one full minute um, at the apex. And then what, a good, what you can do, which I think is a good trick, is once you do check the heart rate and listen to it, and also say you, what you want to do is well, listen, go right drink. into the lungs, listen to the lungs and the highly sound, and then going right into your GI so you can hear bowel sounds. This way you're not constantly going, taking the stethoscope on and off, on and off through your assessment. It just makes it more focused. At the same time, while you're doing it, you're also going to check your respiratory rate as well. From there, you go to GI, right? So you listen to bowel sounds. When I was doing the bowel sounds, um, I was also able to palpate it and see if it's soft or non-tender, um, or if she had guarding rid and rigidity. And then, of course, the last part, limb movement as well. Okay, so musculoskeletal, musculoskeletal wiggling her toes, checking her perfusion cap refill to the toes and to the fingers as well. And that is basically a bit to do an assessment for a four-year-old.